there are a diversity of freshwater snails that can be found in aquatic environments in North America. Because they are so diverse in their size, in the type of water that they prefer, so there might be some species which are found in slow-moving uh, water bodies and swampy areas, while other ones are found in faster-moving rivers and streams. And also, they vary in their food preferences, some preferring algae, some preferring detritus. Um, therefore, they can have different roles in uh, aquatic food chains. Some snails have gills, which allow them to breathe underwater. Some have to return to the surface in order to take in oxygen from the air. Some will hatch from eggs in spring and then die by the end of the summer season, while others are perennial. And so therefore, they can have diverse roles in ecosystems. In general, their diet is primarily composed of algae and detritus, and they have a hard structure known as a radula, which allows them to scrape surfaces so that they can remove algae from them. The muscular foot, which they use to slide over surfaces, can secrete uh, a mucus, uh, which allows them to move uh, more easily. Some filter feed, uh, and those which prey on detritus also ingest a fair number of bacteria. Because there can be so many snails processing the algae and the, the detritus in an aquatic environment, there are many organisms which then can feed on snails. This includes arthropods, such as crayfish, insects, such as the predatory hemipterans, like back swimmers. Um, there are a number of parasitic mites which prey on uh, snails. Um, but then also there are a great diversity of fish, which can include snails in their diet. This includes minnows being able to feed on small snails, trout, catfish, um, as sunfish. Uh, and then also there's a diversity of uh, land vertebrates as well. Many birds feed on snails, whether these be ducks and geese, uh, shorebirds and gulls. Also, a number of uh, mammals, uh, such as uh, muskrats and mink, uh, can feed on snails.